Well, we are in Waco, Texas. And these are the silos at Magnolia, where the Gaineses have their store. We'll be going in and doing a little shopping. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. So we are in front of the silos and I guess there is a stage here that they'll have bands, barbecue pit over there, kids' playground. It's laid out really nice. So we are on the lower level. Okay, I kind of found my favorite thing. These are wall tapestries. Um, I like them all. Maybe not the flowered or the floral ones as much, but I certainly like the other ones. I'm actually gonna check to see how much these are because I could see this hanging in my dining room. Oh, too much sun there, sorry about that. I could see these hanging in my dining room. So little shops surround this Greenway area. Oh, there's a church over there. That I think is empty, I don't think. There's a shop. No, somebody's going in there. And then all around the other side, too. We're now inside the furniture part of Magnolia. Ooh, this is a cool picture. $440. Oh, it's nice, though. I think it's actually reverse painted. Bedding shop. Are you finding your dresser? But it's not shutting. No, I do want it. Well, yeah. Okay, we are in Dallas, Texas, going to the Goodwill outlet stores. The two girls in front of me, some of my friends, they have never been to an outlet store. It's gonna be the first time. Okay. Look at, look at all these bins. Holy buckets. Oh, you can't tape? Okay. Well, my trip to Texas was amazing. Um, I'm so glad that my friend Nancy, um, she's lived there for like, I think 37 years, she said. She knew her way around, of course, like crazy. And, you know, I don't think I could have done that. The traffic was horrendous in Dallas, but uh, nonetheless, Nancy got us to where we wanted to go and she was very nice about it too. The first day we were there, we went to the Magnolia sil silos. Um, that's Chip and um, Joanna Gaines's place or where they, I don't know if that's where they film, but that's where their center is. And that's in Waco, Texas. Um, it was high end. I mean, it was really nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yes, the things there I thought were a bit pricey. However, I bought my souvenir there and I'm going to show you right up here what it was. Um, I love it. I'm not sorry. I bought it. I usually don't buy things for myself. So, uh, this was one that I, I saw it and I had that feeling that if I don't buy it now, I'm going to regret. So yeah, I love it. Um, we also at, um, ate at the Magnolia table. It's the restaurant. And luckily Nancy made reservations for us. I wouldn't have thought about that because the wait was rather long and we got right in with our reservations. It was probably the best food I've ever eaten. 
So shout out to Magnolia Table. It was it, it was really good. Um, I'll put a picture in here. Um, it's a very old building. I think it's on the National um, Historic Register. Um, but yeah, very, very nice place and very good food. Um, oh, I was going to tell you that they actually shipped that large uh, painting, tapestry, whatever you want to call it, for free, which I was really surprised at. It was, I mean, happy, but I was surprised at, at that. While I was there, it was so hot. You, you can't imagine how hot it was. It was like 95 degrees and just still, oh, it was not like South Dakota in the fall, let me tell you. So anyways, we really did. I enjoyed going there and um, thank Nancy for driving us. Uh, on the way home, we stopped at Bucky's, which is like this huge, uh, tr it's not a truck stop because trucks actually can't go there, but a huge convenience store thing. Um, and that was kind of fun to see too. So then on the way home, um, she let me stop at the um, Dallas Goodwill outlet bins. I can't say I was very impressed. Uh, it seemed dirty to me. They I started filming but quickly got shut down. But here are a few things that I did find. Um, I'll, I'll insert a picture here of what their prices were. So actually, um, I found, this is a paint by number set. I can't even find it, so I'm not sure. I may give it to one of uh, to my daughter if she wants to do this. Uh, then I found this whole bag of teacher supplies, and I was going to send these to Veda, my little uh, granddaughter who's five and just started kindergarten. And then her mother said, "Don't you dare! That will be nothing but a mess." So maybe I'll keep them at home here, and when the kids come, I'll I'll play with them here. Um, I found this kooky little bottle, uh, stopper, like a wine bottle stopper. And as you can see, you know what it is. Um, and then my girlfriend, Nancy actually picked up a couple of things for me that are probably better than all of these things. One is Taylor Swift, the Eras tour, and it's a glass from her concert. It's just one of the plastic, you know, glasses that you probably got a, a, a pop, a fountain pop in. Um, but they actually go for pretty good money. I wish there would have been more of them, but she did find me one. Thanks, Nancy. Shout out to Nancy. And then she also picked up this Sound of Music uh, beginner piano book. Um, and these go for about $15. So I don't think my whole spend here was more than $5. I think it was under $5. So kind of a good day at the Benz, except <laughs> you couldn't film. And like I said, I felt they were kind of dirty. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And my next video is going to be at the Canton, Texas Trade Market Days. And you will not believe this place. So stay tuned. We'll see you later. Bye.